Welcome back to the channel guys, you join me in my 2012 Porsche 911 9N1 Carrera S uh, and as the video suggests we're going to be looking at 10 modifications that I've done on this vehicle and spending roughly just over £5,700 so if you may be interested in doing some modifications on your Porsche 991 or you're just a Porsche fan in general that's what this channel focuses on um, oh this is so tasty when I put my foot down on it So the first modification that I was very keen to do on this car was the front end, the GTS front end. Um, if you're not familiar, the GTS has a different front end to the, uh, the Carreras, the Carrera 4S's and the, the standard Carreras. So it's what's called an aero kit. Now the aero kit is the same on the GTS as you would get um, if you'd optioned a Carrera S with the aero kit. Okay, so um, this is the front bumper, this is what it looks like. Um, and I think it generally, makes the front end look a little bit more aggressive. I bought the bumper for around about 800 pounds. Then I had to spend a bit of money on uh, the insides, like the, the trim parts on the inside. Obviously I had to spend a bit of, bit of money uh, getting it sprayed. So there was a little bit of an issue when I first got the bumper sprayed because I gave it to the spray shop on its own without the rest of the vehicle and the match didn't come back quite right. So um, we had to put it back in for paint, um, spend a bit more money on that. But the, in total, that cost about £2,140-ish uh, to get the front bumper, the parts to fit on the front bumper and to get the spray, two spray jobs. Um, so, but all, overall, it looks fantastic in my eyes. What do you guys think? So next up, keeping in a slight direction of the GTS, I wanted to fit the, uh, the GTS style side skirts, which I have fitted. Um, and I think they look really, really good, really, really nice. What do you guys think? These cost me, I think it was 395 pounds with a further 100 pounds to fit and finish. So obviously the, the paint job on them. Um, and they've gone on really well and the, the paint match is really good on those. So in total, £495 for the side skirts, which you'll generally find on the 4S or the GTS. The, as far as I'm aware, the Carreras and the Carrera S's didn't come with side skirts out of the factory. And I don't even think it was an option. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was an option. So getting these fitted in an aftermarket sense makes really good sense to me if you like that look on the GTS and the 4S. Now the next modification I set my eyes on was to lower the suspension. These are generally already low sports cars, but I personally think the gap between the wheel and the arch is just too big. So what I've done is I've fitted a set of these H&R lowering springs um, and they cost me about, I think it was £310 for the springs um, and £270 to fit them. So in total you're looking at £580 to get them fitted, which for me is a really, really good deal because I think it dramatically changes the look of the car. When it comes to the ride and the comfort, they are firm, but certainly not uh, uncomfortable. I would say you certainly feel it when you're approaching like a swooping bend or you're at speed in the vehicle going on a slight turn. Um, they, they really, really come into their own. And as I say, I think they are, um, they look the part, they're not that expensive for what is a really, really good modification. So 580 pounds for side skirt, uh, sorry, sorry, the lower springs fitted and supplied that's a good deal if you ask me so next up I wanted to have a look at the uh, the wheel situation now the Carrera S wheels which I think look good on this car in certain colors um, they're all right but they just I just wanted something a little bit more special so um, I've got a few sets of wheels lying around my garage and I put these sport classic style wheels on the car um, they are not genuine or official sport classic wheels uh, but i think they look good in silver on the vehicle with the car lowered with the skirts on it so with that whole combo i think the wheels really really look good now you may have noticed i've i've had these wheels on a few other 991s that i've had in the past so i had them on my, my black 991 which i don't really think they work that well um, i had them on my target gts which i think they did work um, and on this aqua blue color 
I think they do work as well. I've had people tell me that they absolutely love the wheels and also people tell me that they don't like the wheels. So it's all down to what the individual likes, I guess, at the end of the day. But ultimately, I paid zero for these wheels because I already had them. So I'm not adding them to the list of modifications or the, the total value of the modifications that I've done to this car. I did have to pay for them um, when I bought them a few years ago. And off the top of my head, I honestly can't remember how much I paid for them. Probably, I think I might have paid about, not much, like 800 pound for the wheels. Um, and then another probably 250 to get them sprayed because they were black when I first bought them. Um, and then I had a set of tires just laying around in my workshop, which I, which I managed to fit onto them. So this time round, it's cost me absolutely nothing. It did cost me, you know, maybe about a grand or so when I bought them a few years ago. But I think they look good. What do you guys think? So next up, just to give the car a little bit more individuality um, and to make it just pop that little bit more, again, these are really subjective and down to personal tastes, uh, but I picked up these side decals in quite a quite a, um, a contrasting colour, so I wanted them to kind of stand out. So I've gone for the yellow, which I guess is maybe a little bit of a nod to my 997, um, but interesting this time, they, so, so those decals cost me £45, which is, is a good rate for them, a good price. Um, but this time it cost me £80 to get them fitted. Now, I normally go to a guy who's fitted decals on my other Porsches. Um, in previous times I've had these fitted from this guy. They, he's, he's charged me £40. So I don't know if just times are hard or, um, you know, his prices have gone up due to COVID or whatever, what have you. I don't, I don't necessarily know. OK, so now we're talking about just a little bit of in-car entertainment. I've had a few different CarPlay systems for all of my Porsches, really. Um, the standard system in this 991 is called PCM 3.1, which you might well be aware of. Um, I've put a CarPlay system in my Cayman, which was great to start with, but it subsequently died. And um, I've had a, a Joy Auto kit in my Cayenne, which I think was PCM 3.0. So in this car, I've tried the PM, I Sudar CarPlay kit and I fitted that a few weeks ago and it's fantastic it really is that's I think this is the best of the lot so far um, the beauty of this is that it integrates the original PCM so you can switch between your PCM 3.1 and then flip over to the CarPlay side of things so it allows you to keep complete originality within the uh, the infotainment system which I really like um, it cost me 280 pounds so it's not it's it's not that expensive compared to some of the units that I've seen, uh, but it's not ridiculously cheap either. Um, I fitted it myself. Took me about probably about an hour and a bit, which was uh, quite a pleasant experience actually. So it's I'd certainly say it's easy, doable um, at DIY level. So. £280 to get CarPlay and it's wireless CarPlay as well. Don't need to worry with about wires or anything like that. So £280 to get the, the good CarPlay in your vehicle, I think is a, is a good deal. I'll pop the link to that kit in the description below this video, but I am also going to be doing a separate video or I've already done a separate install video for that particular kit. I just haven't published it yet. It will be published on the channel, certainly after this video goes live. So this next modification kind of turns this Carrera S into a bit of a maniac, a bit of a monster. It actually gives you a little bit of a, a GD3 or a GDS feel about the car. And couple that with the sports exhaust in sport mode, it's incredible. It is just a, a throttle response kit made by Racechip. Uh, it's called the XLR5 and I will pop the link to, the, to that in the description. I'm also going to be making a separate video about that. But what this basically does is uh, increases the throttle response. It just makes the throttle more responsive. So when you're putting your foot down, it's going to rev a lot quicker. And that gives you much more of a sort of kind of like a race feel and a race um, experience from the standard Carrera S. I think the, uh, the standard throttle response on these cars is actually quite poor, but now changing so quickly it's throttling so quickly and I would not think that I was driving a Carrera S with that race chip installed so 
Um, I think if you're if you're maybe looking at performance modifications and you've got one of these Carrera S's, then that is an absolute definite modification that you do need to carry out. Not so much if you're only bothered about styling, but if you want to get that kind of race feel out of a Carrera S, then yeah, I would say that that race chip kit, and it's only 200 pounds, it's 199 pounds. So uh, the, the, the very nice, kind people at race chip did send me it for free because I am, like I say, I have done a proper install video on that, which again will be out after this video. But that's one to watch out for because the experience that this now offers it could well get me into some trouble. So much fun, so much fun. So the next mod I kind of tried to, well I thought about uh, recreating the, the rear end look of a, a 911 GTS, a 991 GTS, which as you might know has a black plastic cover over the engine uh, compartment. Now, actually it's a very expensive modification. It costs about 1,000, I think it's about 1,900 pounds just to get this modification. And all it is, is a strip of black plastic which s screws into the, uh, into the rear deck lid of the car. So um, as a, it's quite an expensive modification to do and I didn't really want to go down that route um, if I was gonna have to spend that amount of money. So uh, what I have considered doing, and they, this may work or this may not work, is just purely unscrewing the three louvers that currently reside on the engine cover. It's just three strips of plastic. They screw off really easily. And I thought about spraying them initially with something like Plasti Dip. So it's a black spray, which is not permanent. So if you don't like it, you can always remove it. So what is this car doing? Um, if and when it comes to it, if I spray it and I like it, then I can get it done professionally. But if I don't like it, then I can just peel it off and it will go back to normal. So um, I haven't currently done that at the time of making this video, but if I have done it by the time the video is edited, then you'll see it right now. And this is a modification that anyone can do. It's only gonna cost about 25 pounds plus your time for the actual spray. So what do you think? So I'm just traveling through the city center now and it's getting a little bit busy, but uh, on, on the subject of wheels, I touched on wheels earlier. I have also bought a set of winter wheels and tires for this car. I think they're called Carrera Classics, actually, the, the Carrera Classics. Um, but they are good for winter. They cost me 1,500 pounds, so they'll be pretty good to put on during the winter months and offer another look to this ever evolving 991. Also, you may have seen in the clip earlier in the video, I have set, bought a set of uh, roof trans roof bars, they, they call it the roof transport system. Uh, these bars interestingly fit 991 and 992, so they've used the exact same system on the 991 on the 992 uh, for the roof bars, which is really handy if you have both, or you may be thinking about selling your 991 and buying a 992. Um, so yeah, it's it, it, look, it offers a good solution. It offers you the option to put a roof box on. Uh, maybe some of the some of the guys out there are a little bit more creative and they might want to put a roof tent on. Um, so options like that are now viable in these sports cars, and I think a lot of people do like to go down those routes because they like to uh, have these things and show off on Instagram and things like that, which I ain't got a problem with uh, each to their own. But they cost uh, just over four hundred pounds for those roof bars. So. It's quite expensive as far as roof bars go, but they are genuine and official Porsche products. Um, I couldn't find any aftermarket kits, so there's another 400 pound in the coffers. So that brings the total spend of this build so far, and when I say build, I just mean like modifications, uh, 5,777 pounds. Yes, 1,500 of that is on a set of wheels which I haven't even fitted to the car. Now there are two other sets of wheels I am considering for this car. The RS Spider wheels, which I do have a set of rears. I just need to try and find a set of the fronts. I think they look quite good on the car, but then also the, um, the Sport Techno wheels. I do have a full set of these, but they are for a 4S. So the fronts will fit fine, but the rears are just too wide. So if I can find a set of 4S, uh, sorry, Carrera S rears on the Sport Technos, then I think they'll also work well on this car. Future mod wise, other than that, then I probably don't see too much diversion from where we are right now. Um, I'll probably put some spacers on. I think the car as it stands right now could probably sit, do with a set of spacers. 
Uh, I've got a set of 20s which I can put on the rears, um, and I need to find some maybe maybe 10, 15 mils that I'll put on the front. Other than that though, I'm pretty happy with the way the car looks. So I hope you've maybe gained something from this video if you are looking to maybe do some modifications on any of your Porsches, um, any of your 991s, 997s, your Cayman Boxsters, you know, some of these modifications that I've talked about in this video are transferable into those cars as well so many of the products that i've used will work in those as well so it's just something to consider um, us car guys we love to play around with our cars you know we like to fiddle we like to tinker um, and i'm no different I, I absolutely love playing with these cars um, it is the ultimate hobby for a man i believe uh, in my opinion in any case there we go so um if you are interested guys there'll be plenty more videos on this vehicle um i've got like i say most of the things that i've covered in this video I've done individual videos for as I've been doing the mods so I'll be rolling those out probably straight after this video um, and I'll be doing lots of other ownership videos uh, on this channel as well that's what this channel is all about so if it does sound like something you might be interested in please do hit that subscribe button hit the like button as well because it does help the channel and it helps this video get pushed out to more you know when you're thinking about the algorithms that YouTube use and things like that okay thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video